Season 4 has finally arrived and with it comes a brand new event called Assault on Vondel. Now this is based around the brand new map that they brought out in Warzone and gives us the chance to unlock 14 new rewards. Now don't worry, if you're not a fan of Warzone you don't actually have to touch the map and I'll explain everything you need to know in this video. So once you come across the events tab, this is the first page you'll see and this is the community part of the challenge. This is all of us on PC, Xbox and PlayStation all working together in order to unlock these brand new rewards. As you can see, this is the total that we currently have and we need 125 million to unlock the first one, which is Taxi, Boat and Tramp. Now I've contributed 40 to this total, so obviously I'm a massive help to the community. That's obviously a joke by the way. Now once we've unlocked this, it's going to allow us to unlock the flare, the supply box and then lastly the melee weapon. Scroll down and you'll notice that there's a second page with a big map, loads of challenges and all looks a little bit confusing. But don't worry, I'm going to run through everything as quickly as possible so you can fully understand it and maximise getting these medals as quickly as possible. So to start you'll notice the amount of medals that you've won is shown in the top left corner here and they're used to unlock the rewards found in the bottom left. If we click the rewards you'll see all of them here and you need 40 medals in order to unlock all of them. Now I'll go into a bit more detail later on in the video, I'll show you what all the camos look like on the guns but first let's focus on the challenges. Each section as you can see here will have different challenges that you need to unlock. Each one has three different challenges for you to collect three different medals. Now sections 1 to 10 are all about DMZ and Warzone, whereas sections 11, 12 and 13 are all to do with multiplayer. Now if you've got multiplayer you can do both so you can do a nice mix. If you've only got Warzone or DMZ then you'll need to focus on the 10 sections here. Now you've also got this little section here which means that you can collect an unlimited amount of medals. If you're playing Warzone you will need to come 5th or higher in any Warzone match in order to unlock a medal. Whereas in multiplayer you need to get 15 kills in a winning multiplayer match. If you're looking to do the Warzone and DMZ challenges there's 5 different types you're going to come across. The most popular one as there's 10 different locations for these, one in each of the zones is find the detonator and what you're hunting for is a detonator that's randomly spawned in each location but the trick here is to listen out for this sound once you've heard this you'll know that you're pretty close and it's going to either be above below or to a side but you know that you're very close once you've found it you'll need to interact with it and this will unlock the challenge the next challenge is by far the easiest and this is open 10 containers. Simple as that, just fly into the location required and open these containers as quickly as possible. The next challenge, which is kill 3 enemy operators, doesn't need to be in a row or even in the same game. Just keep flying down to that location until you manage to pick up your 3 kills. The fourth type of challenge is complete a contract started at that location. So if you're confident in your team's ability to get a kill, then I'd grab a kill contract. Otherwise, I'd grab one of these. These are going to make you upload intel into a certain location, normally on a rooftop. But not to worry, if you die and your team's still alive, you can literally just fly onto the location and then upload it from there. The final challenge needs to be done in DMZ and this is kill 10 enemy soldiers. By enemy soldiers, they literally mean just kill 10 bots in that area. Now, if you're not a fan of DMZ, you have no gear, you don't really play it, don't worry, you can literally just dive in with nothing, which is actually a bonus, because you can go in there as many times as you want, try and get them kills, and you don't even have to exfil, just back out and start again. When it comes to the multiplayer challenges, there's two main ways of doing this. The first one is just to play your normal game mode and get the 15 kills and win the match. So if you're a big fan of team deathmatch you can just do this 40 times if you manage to win every game or you can kind of mix the two challenges together so you'll need to keep getting 15 kills and win the game but you can capture points in domination to unlock this medal but also get defender kills at the same time so you're kind of doing three medal progresses at the same time 
Now the way I completed this, and it's probably the fastest method, is to mix the two methods together. Now what I mean by that is go into Warzone and get the easy ones done, collect the containers, get the kills, the contracts aren't too difficult either. I mean to be honest with you, even finding the detonators isn't too difficult. Then jump into some multiplayer, collect them tagged, capture the flags in domination, they're all very easy things to do. While doing that you'll also be getting your 15 kills and killing two birds with one stone. This last section we're just going to go over the main rewards that I think are worth unlocking. The first one is Sea Dog, a blueprint for the handgun. The next one is a blueprint for the Signal 50, Trishula. I don't know if I've murdered that, but it's a nice looking camo and if you're a keen sniper it's one to definitely try out. After that at 25 medals we got Splatter Tactics. Now I quite like this, I won't be using it because I like the one that you unlock at 40, but if you only got limited time I think it's worth unlocking. At 35 medals we've got electrifying, now I don't really deal with the finishing moves, I don't really change them, but I actually think this one's pretty cool, and if you're a big fan of finishing moves I think you'll like this one. Lastly at 40 medals we got train car and squeaks the charm. Now these I think look really cool, I'm definitely going to be using both of these. So if you can get to 40 medals then it's well worth it. Hopefully this has helped you guys, if it has don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see future videos like this then make sure you smash that sub button and I'll see you in the next one.